We got Gamby holding it down in cold blood, Jen the Redeemer, and Jefferson is on the case. Let's do this. Nerd Soul. Late ill kid at one youngster holding it down, bringing that street geek and nerd soul. What is up, my people, today? Oh, yeah, coming with another wonderful episode of On Screen Hip Hop Geek, putting it together for a dope show. That's right, in Freeland, where, where the heroes hold it down for the people, where the pastor stands strong in the face of danger, and that show is Black Lightning. And let's go in and get into Pastor Pinky real quick. I'm gonna I'm catch us all up real fast. We got an episode uh, tonight, Pastor Pinky. That, that's my boy right there. I love I love me some Pastor Pinky. No matter whether it's Pinky, Saints or Sinners, or what, or even in Freeland, he's doing his thing. And the reason why is because when when they try to put the pressure on him, when they when they try to hold him down with the councilman, he said, "You thought we didn't know Tobias was here? We knew Tobias was here. We just ain't say nothing. But let me tell you, I ain't scared. You ain't gonna take my my clinic. You ain't gonna mess around with my church." In the name of the Lord, you ain't touching nerd head up in here. What I want you to do is take your little messenger butt back to Tobias and tell him that we all said, that's that's all I'm saying. It's a family show. I had to block it. I had to, I had to bleep it out. That's all I'm saying. But you, look, adults, we know. He said, look, Tobias, you can go and you know where you can go and you can go super duper fast. And everyone, please rejoice. I'm happy. I hope you are a little bit happy too because of Jen the Redeemer. I'm gonna I'm call her the Redeemer right now because I see Khalil coming around. I, I think Jen's gonna be his way in. Of course, you know, uh, they went through some mess, some serious mess. And when I say serious mess, I mean a drag down, straight knockout of a fight. And Tobias versus Khalil was actually pretty fresh. I was like, oh, word, Khalil. Khalil was like, you know what? I'm tired of your pasty. And then Tobias was like, look, I'm gonna learn you something, boy. And just seeing them go back and forth and they were, they were throwing some haymakers. This was some serious battling going down. And honestly, for a second, Khalil kind of had it, but you know, of course, Tobias got the killer instinct. Khalil just ain't got it. That's why he, he got, he, you know, he got uh, on the end, he, you know, threw him into the pool. Well, it wasn't a pool, it was a fish tank, but you, pool works better for this metaphor. But back to Jen, you know, after he gets hurt, he goes to Jen and we see Jen being that, that crack in the door, that, that small opening that allows him to be like, look, we've all made dumb, you know, dumb decisions, big mistakes, all of that. And you have too, you've made some serious mistakes but you haven't gone too far. And of course, too far is being asked to kill the pastor at his mama's church, man. He was like, look, not only kill the pastor, wanna kill some people there too. Like, dude, you, you can't do that. Especially, and this is to Tobias. I thought you wanted to be, you know, a little bit quiet about this. Like I, wanted, I thought you wanted to be a little bit subdued and behind the scenes. You can't just be killing pastors, man. I, he's probably one of the most notable pastors in the city. You can't just be going around killing pastors. Like that brings too much heat. But with that said, I like the redemption angle. I like him realizing that Black Lightning was not involved in the shooting and that Tobias was, and hopefully Jen will be that, that you know, that helping hand to bring him over to the to the good guys, you know what I'm saying, with the, with the cops, with the, with the good guys, or at least the good cops, not the dirty ones. You know what I'm saying, we can't mess with that. Now, we got a whole bunch of stuff to get to after the break, like the expansive lore that I am enjoying so much, but first, Cure Brands gonna help us pay them bills. Oh yeah, check that link below, hat shirts, hoodies, all that jazz, and once you find something you like, of course, cop it. Now let's get into the expanded lore that I am enjoying so much. The Purdy Sanjay. I'm enjoying this. I, I love this angle we're taking to, 
to kind of like expand what Freeland is, expand what we know, you know, the people involved, the players and how they relate to each other. I am truly enjoying just getting into like the powers where they come from, how they're controlled. And this, you know, this centuries long, maybe back and forth between these two, maybe even before they got to Freeland. So I'm just enjoying that. I can't wait to get into more. More lore is, I, I, I'm, I'm just there, I'm there for it. The, the deeper the hate, the deeper the lore, the, the more, you know, angst behind these two families or two factions, I enjoy it a lot. Uh, big shout out to the uh, the young brother, and I can't remember his name, started on Twitter, but the guy who was sign language, uh, doing the sign language in this episode, it was great. And he, his just, his, his embodiment of this character that's a patriarch, a leader, but someone with some emotion behind him, kind of struck me as a, a better version <laughs> of Black Bolt. I mean, seriously, he, he struck me as someone who would be like a black bolt, but just much better. I mean, what we got on screen, I, we ain't gonna go to that show, we gonna act like that show don't exist. But here, it was done extremely well. We see uh, Anaya, I believe, she has the twins, and those twins set off what may end up being a protect the child storyline. With writers like this, I think a protect the child storyline would be just fine, amazing. I mean, we got, just so much from the lore and so much to look forward with. You know, the way this show has been handled from season one to season two, you know, these guys can do no wrong, in my opinion. Now, we also had the fight out there in the woods, which was dope. You had some back-to-back -back action. You had the, the I guess, the, the enhanced, maybe not metahumans because their powers were given to them. So I don't I don't know how DC handles them because I think metahumans are, unless they all jumble them up into one bag. I can't remember because I know Marvel handles heroes differently. But um, metahuman-ish, I guess, we'll, we'll let that slide because I can't remember. DC is convoluted. But I like seeing that back-to-back -back team up action. A lot of fun. From, from having the children to the emotion of the children, seeing one black and one white, seeing the powers, the Sanjay and the Purdy, just so much wrapped up. And this episode was boss. But I ain't forgot. I ain't forgot your boy. That's right. Gamby. Gamby want answers. He taking fingers, son. Yo, you thought Gamby was just a dude that ran a tie shop or something, all right? <laughs> Don't sleep. All right. Gamby not only will take you out, but do it in style. Come up in your house with your dogs. Cut your fingers off. Shoot your center mask and walk out mad smooth. Yo, we all knew Gamby wasn't dead. I love to see him in this flavor. I know he's turning a little bit to the dark side, but sometimes you have to do some dark to serve the light. So, you guys holler at me, I'm gonna holler at you. Down in the comments, let's talk Black Lightning. Super hype. I'm on board, can't wait till tonight, and I'm gonna tell you guys to hit up thatnerdsoul.com. That's right, check me out right there. All my videos from the oldest, newest, latest, greatest, all that. Then hit up shop.thatnerdsoul.com and pick yourself up a t-shirt player. Don't forget to get one for them playettes. Then come back here, like, comment, subscribe, and share that nerd soul. That's right, there's no better way that I can show people that you, like what you, are watching. So, LA, what up? VA, what up? RVA, you got my heart, and please be good to yourselves. Please be good to each other, and remember, no matter what you do, if you try to kill somebody, make sure you just lock your doors and windows. Peace. <laughs>